the tape for this middleweight fight. Just look at the top ledger right there. 13 and one against 11 and one. 24 and two overall. Look at the reach. 74 to 77, but Stevens is long, and he uses that reach. We'll see if Shipman can get inside and land his power. Once again, to the voice, Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA on Paramount Network continues now in the middleweight division set for three five-minute rounds. Introducing first the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in 185.4 pounds, near perfect as a professional. 11 wins, just one loss, fighting out of Rotterdam, Netherlands. Castello, the Spaniard, Mancini. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at six foot one, weighing in 185.8 pounds. He too, as a professional, is near perfect, bringing 13 victories, only one defeat, fighting out of London, England, introducing Mike Sebas Shipman. And the referee in charge of the action, Mike Beltran. Mike Beltron, our referee. Spectacular matchup between Shipman and Van Steenis. Here we go! 13 and 1, Mike Shipman in the red gloves. 11 and 1, the Spaniard, Costello Van Steenis in the blue gloves. Both Bellator knockouts for Van Steenis have come in round number one. Shipman strikes first. Well, strikes first, but missed. Clubbed him around the head. That's what, that's what caused Van Steenis to hit the ground momentarily. But this is what Van Steenis has got to figure out. This is that motion that Shipman actually uses to his advantage because he's different than everybody else you train with. He's got a herky-jerky style, but he is powerful, he is fast, and you have to be ready for his attacks. Part of the very talented and dangerous London Shoot Fighters team, led by, of course, Michael Venom Page. Nice double unders. I should have put Van Steenis to his back, but this is Van Steenis is very hard to keep on the ground. And right away it gets to his feet. But these positions right here for Shipman are important. If you can get to these positions and you have Van Steenis in a position where he can't do damage to you, start to beat him up. Hit that leg. Hit the body. Start to wear him down. Originally from the Netherlands, Van Steenis spent 20 years in Spain and then moved back to the Netherlands for training, lived with his grandfather, hooked up with the Musasi brothers and Bert Kopp's gym, and the rest so far has been outstanding. Gegard, Gaywick, Musasi. As they lock in early. Smart by what Shipman is doing. He, he trapped the arm, laced it behind him, had control of that, so that Steve couldn't lock his hands at any point. Just hitting him with little shots, but those are gonna add up. This is what Mike Shipman can do to you. And Steven is turning it, tries for the takedown. Now caught. You see Shipman looking for a guillotine, ten-finger guillotine choke. Needs that cage to drive against it. That's why he's pushing him towards it. Can he get it? He's starting to you see his hips pushing forward. That bow of the neck. Tries to land a big shot off of it. Knew he didn't have it. Let me land something as we break apart. The lone loss for Van Steenis came by decision in December of 2015. You saw the graphic for Mike Shipman, who called tonight the toughest fight of his career, John. His last loss, 2,212 days ago. Six plus years not bad yeah, and look at he's been successful because first off he works his butt off yeah he trains so hard he takes nothing for granted and he does not ever think that it's going to be easy he doesn't think he has any easy opponents he believes that you know what everybody can beat me i have to go out and prove that that can't be done 
owner of the third fastest knockout in Bellator history. It was it was turned in right here against Carl Noon at Bellator 200, 10 seconds. Right now, Van Stenis trying to work on top. But um, it's Mike Shipman. But it's Mike Shipman off of his back. Yes. Landing elbows, changing head position for Van Stenis. And what you're seeing, when he brings his arm over the top and you see Van Stenis' head off to the side there, that keeps Van Stenis from being able to land at all with his power hand being his right hand. He only has his left hand to try to damage it. And so if Mike Shipman can control that hand, he knows he can't attack me. This is all smart fighting. You see Shipman trying to open up with elbows. Van Stenis now trying to do the same from the top. And Mike Shipman made the comment, partner, that nobody's really seen me on my back. He said, I got stuff. <laughs> He hasn't been on his back long, and he always tries to get off of his back right away. But those were two big elbows landed by Costello Van Stenis right there. Strong. You know, again, seeing Shipman being smart, putting his head in position away from the center line of his body. And Van Stenis going and passing into a half guard. Trying to now bring that leg free, opening up on the body. Both guys fighting really smart against a guy that they know I'm not going to just be able to get rid of this guy. Ten seconds. And Stina's almost to a mount. Good first round between two extremely talented fighters. Mike Shipman's trainer, Alex Dimitriotis, he just said the same thing. Who got that round? He goes, I think he did. And I believe he did. I believe, I, I think in the end, Costello Van Stenis takes that round. He landed the heavier shots, landed some big elbows. This is a close fight. Five fight win streak for Van Stenis. 13 fight win streak for Shipman. Shipman, London shoot fighter. Van Stenis fighting out of the Netherlands. One of the things that Van Stenis has been able to learn from one of his mentors in Gegard Mousasi is how to stay relaxed in a fight. And that allows him to carry with a pace that he can push a fight when he wants. And it doesn't seem like he gets tired. Of course he gets tired like we all do. But when you're relaxed in the cage, when you are relaxed in the fight, you're not burning excess energy, and it adds up in the end. Nice kick. Both of those nice kicks. Both guys have the right idea. Look, when I get a chance, I want to just, just start to wear my opponent down. You're seeing Shipman as he gets him against the cage, moving the arm away, little punch inside to the body, comes up to the head, knees to the legs. Shipman. Little Muay Thai 101. All I could say was, oh. I think that was the perfect reaction. <laughs> How good was that? I got 
Take a look at what happens here. Watch the elbow come. Van Stienis lands that shot. Look at it stiffen him. And another puts him down. Hits him with a couple of shots in here. You see Shipman trying to react. Referee Beltran trying to give him everything he can, but you saw when Shipman's head went back, that's when the referee decided that you have taken enough. It was that shot right there. Boom! What a elbow by Costello Van Stienis. That was huge and changed this fight. You saw Shipman's eyes, and that's why the referee stopped the contest. Great stoppage by referee Beltran. Van Steenis with the finish. Our official decision is coming up next. Buckingham Palace, the London residence of the monarch of the United Kingdom, 775 rooms, and of course, everybody needs that iconic picture in front of the main gate. What a finish for Van Steenis, two vicious elbows, then some ground and pound, and here's Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. One minute, 34 seconds, round number two, the winner by Naka Costello, the Spaniard, Mancinez.